Hi, we're going to talk about kinetic control. So I have an activation energy diagram up here with two different examples. The purple is representing kinetic control and the pink is representing thermodynamic control. Now, if you're not familiar, familiar with activation energy diagrams, go to my playlist and watch the video on activation energy diagrams. Um, okay, so I first want to explain this using my little apron example, okay? I had shared that in fifth grade, I was in 4-H and I made an apron. Well, I wanted to make two different ap aprons, different qualities, okay? And it really illustrates well the difference between kinetic control and thermodynamic control. Let's start with the kinetic control right here. This is what you observe right off. <clears throat> it takes less energy, a smaller E of A, than the thermodynamic control, but the amount of energy released is definitely smaller. So if I were to liken that to an apron, um, it's going to be that I don't have a lot of upfront money. Um, and so I go to the store and I buy fabric that's kind of low quality and it's on sale. I am going to put $2 into this fabric, okay? So I buy the fabric, it costs me $2. I sew it, here's your transition state, I make the apron, and then I sell it. But because it's not super great quality, I can only sell it for $4. So I put $2 in, I sell it for $4. My net profit, the energy that's released, is going to be $2, okay? So let's say um, $2 cost, $4 sold, my profit, oops, profit is going to be $2, all right? So that's for the kinetic control. Now let's do for the thermodynamic control. Um, so let's say I start making some money. Oh, I have more money to invest, so I can go buy nicer fabric. So I go to the store and this time I buy fabric that cost me six dollars okay so this is going to cost me wow we're, we're getting some nice gingham fabric here and i'm going to buy some little eyelet lace to go on it some cute little red ribbon okay so i get more material higher quality it's going to cost me more money all right so here you've got a greater activation energy uh, but because it's higher quality i can sell that for more so i end up selling this for let's say $12, which my, means my profit is greater. I have a $6 profit, a greater amount of energy greater um, that's released, a higher profit. Um, so that's how, um, this is how we translate it now to this chemistry. On thermodynamic control, um, oh, and I need to add here, it, this is when you have a reaction and there are multiple paths that can be taken um, and the product is going to end with a different stability. So, in the thermodynamic, my pink one right here, greater activation energy, it costs you more. You have to put more energy into it, but here at the end, the product is more stable. Then kinetic control where, okay, it costs you less energy. And sometimes, you know, that's how life is. You just don't have enough money to put into something. This costs you less, less energy, um, but the product is less stable, less stable. So if you see rates that go really fast, those typically are going to be under kinetic control. Really, really stable products, those probably came from a thermodynamic control. So I put a couple of notes up here, some takeaways for you. First of all, uh, when we're talking about kinetic control, thermodynamic control, is that there's multiple pathways and we're wondering which one's going to be chosen. Um, if it's kinetic control, it has a lower activation energy, but then the product is less stable. If it's under thermodynamic control, it takes more energy, it has a higher activation energy, but the products are more stable. So what's the determining factor? Right here, temperature, temperature. We have found data that um, at low temperatures, you are going to have much more of this product, the kinetic control, less stable product. At higher temperatures though, it's like me having more in my bank account, I can splurge and spend more, invest more on quality fabric. Um, at higher temperatures, there's more energy available. So at higher temperatures, we see more products from the thermodynamic control. So there you have a quick overview on kinetic control versus thermodynamic control. Enjoy your class, enjoy school, thanks.